Hey besties! I was casually on TikTok as I do as someone who's constantly online and I came across this video about fall trends and I'm like, it's July. <laughs> look, look, I'm guilty of this too. I freaking love fall and as much as I enjoy summer, the weather in the fall is top tier. I mean, I'm there with y'all. I feel the vibe. But that just kind of caught me off guard, I will say. And then what kind of just kick it up a notch for me, I came across this article about in style talking about pirate aesthetic. And I went, oh, no, no, no. So then this just really got me thinking into this concept really about you don't need more clothes. You're just chronically online. I completely feel in my way as someone who is very into fashion, but also online. YouTube is like my number one stream. And I was like, okay, this algorithm is literally tantalizing me. It's just so interesting how the algorithm has fully understands you to your core because they're listening to our conversations on our phone. Just like, you know, the searches that you do. Because the algorithm is not only on social media, but just anywhere you can access the internet, which I feel like it can make it very difficult to avoid these type of topics or even avoid items that you're trying to not purchase and this got me thinking about just purchases and how many times the algorithm can put an item into your face until you decide to buy it or until you find another item that you're interested in, and then it starts pushing that item as well how many times do we see these items on social media and maybe after a month or two do we still feel the same about this piece is it because we're constantly being pushed this piece by our algorithm where either that's internet showing you ads for it or seeing specific influencers you follow wear the specific item or even use it and if you stop seeing them use it after a while will you still feel the same as you initially felt in the beginning all of this made me want to talk about how you can make the most out of your wardrobe and just with the never-ending cycle of fashion and style I thought this could be helpful on how to navigate and create your personal style and I just kind of want to give you maybe some tips using the wardrobe you already have and maybe think about like what is it that that I can fill the gaps in my wardrobe that I don't feel satisfied in. I'm still trying to navigate my own wardrobe. I was inspired by two other creators, Phoebe and Katie, and I'll link their videos down below. It was really insightful and really inspired me as well to come up with some of these things. So the first thing I wanna talk about is lifestyle. This is where it's like, let's be realistic, y'all. What is our day-to-day -day life look like? And what are the occasions that you do that you usually style yourself for? And I think this is something that you can easily forget. I I am a very idealistic person. I personally follow creators that live in Europe and are dressing based on their European lifestyle. I've talked about this before is the lifestyle in certain parts of Europe, mainly major cities. They're more walkable, they are more social. There's more people in one dense area than the suburbs, which is my reality. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Because there's not that many people here in the suburbs, you're not seeing that many people getting dressed very, I don't know, like out of their comfort zone or dressing creatively express themselves. They're dressing just to be practical, which is totally fine. But for me, you know, when I like to dress, I, I have a theme, you know, I, I like to creatively look into why I chose things. There's so many different factors. I think we easily forget that because we're Instagram can be a very aspirational place. It, I mean, how many times have you heard about that girl? So I think one of the first steps after kind of understanding what your lifestyle is, is to write a list of what are some of the occasions you do. Some of the things I do on a routine or every month is I walk my dogs, I go on coffee dates, I mean I work from home, I go to the grocery store or sometimes I go over to a friend's house, to a bar and maybe some events. Those are typically the things that I can think of are the occasions that I have. Now that I understand kind of the things that I am doing with my lifestyle, maybe find the pieces that you would wear for those occasions. For example, when I go walk my dogs, I would wear jeans. So that is something that I can easily just write down and be like, okay, I like wearing jeans because I go walk my dogs every day and I don't want to shave. Think of the, the things that you would wear and slowly write them down on a list. Would you feel comfortable wearing a mesh top? 
about walking your dogs or going to the grocery store and I, those are maybe questions you can ask yourself if this is a type of lifestyle you have would you wear that out then you can go and look at your closet and be like oh yeah I do have these pairs of jeans that I like or yes I do have this blazer that I wear constantly go to work so then you can easily pick point the items that you're like yeah I've wore this a lot and I think that's a very useful way to kind of start pinpointing your wardrobe and how it can work for you literally you and i think oftentimes we have these like dreamlike scenarios that we feel like maybe a certain piece can work for example if i come across this beautiful realization par polka dot dress that i've been really wanting but thought of that realization polka dot dress that i wanted was because i was like when i travel to italy that dress will look so beautiful sometimes create these like dream like scenarios of what an item can bring but at the same time, it's like, I don't got plans to go in Italy anytime soon. And I think, especially when it comes to thrifting, I know for a fact, I feel like these kind of scenarios are very easy to create. With thrifting, a lot of the times when you go, a lot of these items are just very random and unique. It's not like when you're going to a specific department store, they have multiples of the same one, right? Versus in the thrift store, you don't really find the same pieces over and over again. We get caught up in these scenarios that oftentimes don't happen girly pop and when they do then you'll be ready for it okay. so the second big tip i think it's very important to document your outfit i did the 75 style hard challenge this was really useful for me coming into practice about first of all just getting dressed for myself but also just documenting my outfits and going back and looking at an outfit that i've already wore and know how it already physically looks on my body so if i want to re-wear that specific outfit i can i don't know about you but i'm a person who needs to visually see things so creating this album really helps me out and i think it's also very practical because then you start to see what pieces you are rewearing in these photos i feel like that just makes it more visually clear another thing you can do is set aside a rack for items that you enjoy and i think slowly this can help you create like a style uniform a style uniform i feel like it's really important to know outfit formula i think we've kind of briefly talked about this but like for me one of my favorite outfit formulas is basic basic and then a statement my shoes are black and i just have jeans but then i'll wear a top that i feel is a statement for me that's kind of the outfit formula i like to dress putting aside clothing on a rack you can slowly start seeing that outfit formula that you are creating and i think another way to just kind of see what you are enjoying is taking the time to just play dress up with yourself how many times when we were younger you would put all these different outfits you know just playing with your wardrobe and using your creativity on what is the pieces that are you gravitating towards just finding outfit inspiration based on the pieces that you own in your closet try not to use online inspo i am a pinterest whore like i look at pinterest all the time i find it's a great mechanism for finding inspiration but it also is debilitating your style and your creativity a lot of those people on those pinterest boards don't have the same pieces as you do instead try you know getting dressed based on a feeling or a thought even like for me i don't get out of my house that often and i get dressed based on just a vibe find that kind of feeling or inspiration for you now i want to move on to purchasing which I feel like this is where the struggle can be real something that i really enjoy phoebe on her video she talked about is don't buy something if there's something else that you want more and i think this is a good thing to maybe like compare purchases for example i'm going to use this realization par polka dot dress because that was something that i really really wanted and i didn't make the purchase now i can't because it's no longer on their website this 280 dollars dress that i wanted to get right but i kept saying no 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 you know it's online the shipping it's 280 fucking dollars you know no and i see this kind of bag that i'm kind of interested in maybe it's a prada bag who knows right and i'm like you know what 280 dollars for this prada bag isn't bad because it because it initially sells for 700 dollars right but do i like this bag it, does it go with my wardrobe i it was an immediate yes for me for that dress but i decided not to pick it and i'm still iffy about that bag and it costs about the same price and you can literally just get the bag right now would you want to buy that bag if you're comparing it to this beautiful dress that you could get but refuse to order it online or maybe this isn't a piece that i wanted maybe it was just the thought that i came across a freaking prada bag at a thrift store would i make the trade-off for the online purchase i think this really helps you kind of deciding if the purchase was something you wanted initially another thing is make your wish list 
a wait list. Give yourself a time frame for these pieces. There's this jacket you want. Is it really practical for you to get a jacket if your weather is most likely to be more sunny than cold? The last tip I have about purchasing is know where to go to find the items easier. I have an example for shoes. I would prefer to buy them brand new either online or going to the store to see the shoe and then deciding if I'm going to purchase them online. Shoes are one of those things that I would thrift a lot and they would just fall apart as soon as I wear them or the sizing was off. I know for a fact that I'm gonna probably get shoes somewhere where I can return them or where I can go to a store and try them on versus denim button up top. I think for that I can find them at a thrift store. So I think that can help you also narrow down the way you do shopping and knowing where the pieces that you do enjoy, where you can find them. Not search for those pieces in places that you probably won't enjoy. Since finding a crisp clean white top at the thrift store is probably less likely going to happen because it can be filled with stains or anything like that than buying from Matt the Label who has variety 100% cotton white tees. And I just want to tell you to remember to be patient with your wardrobe. It took me years to start mine and I'm still like fine tuning it. And I think it's because there's so many things that are constantly being pushed online. It's really easy to look at your wardrobe and feel like it's not enough. And you know that concept of feeling like you have nothing to wear. Yeah we do have something to wear and just remember it's not you it's the freaking algorithm that's trying to get you and at the end of the day you're gonna do you boo and that's why we love you anyways that is all for today's video i hope it was insightful in some way let us know other tips in the comments or any other advice i would love to see it we can just help each other as a community so let's chat it up in the comments I'll also link the articles and resources i use down below if you're interested and thank you so much for tuning in i've been really having fun chatting and talking about fashion so i do want to do more like talky sit down videos for sure in the future i already have some topics in mind but let me know what other topics you would love me to talk about again thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me i appreciate you and appreciate the time you take to watch my videos that means a lot to me if you want to catch up with me i link my socials in my description box but i'm basically living as karina on all platforms that is all for me and i'll see you soon in a new video bye